Hello and welcome to another episode of Develop with WP. Today we are going to continue on our how to build a plugin series um, with our job listings plugin series. And today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about meta boxes. Um, so what is a meta box? Let's just get right to it. What is a meta box? A meta box, if you look at a, a post edit screen, let me adjust this. You see like this custom fields box area right here in this author box or this featured image box. These are all what are called meta boxes. And essentially you create a box that then holds a bunch of different input fields or what, what have you. Um, so it's kind of a two part process. You know, you don't just create a meta box and, you know, and keep it empty. The next step is to put fields in it, which we'll get to in the next video. So today what we're going to talk about is how to create these custom meta boxes uh, within our theme or within our plugin. All right, so let's get started. First thing I want to do is I actually want to create another folder, another file. Sorry. Um, let's see what do I want to call it. All right. So we're going to call it WP Job Fields. Uh, so again, it's going to be a meta box that it might be a number of meta boxes. We'll see when we get there. And then there's going to be fields in it. So let's open this up in our code editor. Okay, so we got it open up in our code editor. First thing we're going to want to do is go to our main uh, plugin file and add another require once for this new file we just created, which is called WP Job Fields. Okay, save it. And then what we're going to do is go to that file, open up PHP and get started with our coding. Uh, so if we go to the codex, you'll find that there is a function called add meta box. And this is the function that we're going to use to create our custom meta box. And you'll see that it has a whole lot of different parameters. And if we look at them, we see that the first four are required. And then the, the next three are optional. So let's get let's get coding. All right, so we're going to we're going to create a function, prefix it, <laughs> off to a bad start already. This is going to be an add action, and the hook that we're going to be using is called um, add meta boxes. Um, and if I can remember, I kind of want to show you some stuff about that hook in just a minute. All right, so we got the basics set up. Now we need to do our add meta box function call. Meat. <laughs> ah, meat. Just lost all the vegans in the crowd. <laughs> all right. Um, let's get this going. So if we look at the codex, the first thing we have to give is an ID. So this is just a unique name for our meta box. It could be whatever you want. So we're going to do EWP. We'll just call it meta. And that needs to be in quotations. It needs to be a string. Now if we look on here, it says, you know, ID is a string. The next is a tight is the title. And it says right here, the title of the edit screen section. So this is actually going to be what they see at the top of our meta box in the editor, in the post edit screen. Like what is it going to say? And so we're just going to call it job listing. 
because we're very unoriginal. <laughs> Job listing. All right. The codex then says that we need a, a callback function that prints out the HTML for the edit screen. So this is going to be a callback function that um, is responsible for how our meta box is displayed. Um, I don't think I've actually touched on what is a callback, what are callback functions, but um, I guess we'll just suffice it to say you should probably know that. And then the last thing, there's the last required thing is the post type. So what what post type do we want this to show up on? So we're going to put job because we want it to show up on job, the job listing post type. And let me see. All right. So I've saved it. Let's go and I'm on the job listings thing. Let's refresh. And you'll see it down here kind of at the bottom. You'll see the job listing. Here's our little meta box that we created. All right, and that, that's its default location. So let's go look at some of these other arguments because the optional stuff, while it's not required, is really kind of neat. Um, the first thing you come to is context. You know, so the part of the page where that on where the edit screen section should be shown. Um, you have normal, advanced, and side. So um, if we set it to advanced, let's try that. Is it advanced or advanced? Advanced, all right. Set it to advanced, save it. Go back to our, the post edit screen and refresh. And now you see that it did not do anything, it didn't go anywhere. Let's try another one. What if we do normal? Probably gonna be the same. Yep. And then side, side will change it. So if we do side, what it's gonna do is move it over underneath featured image. So now or above it. So it's now it's set over here in the side. So that's that's that context one is setting, you know, where on the edit screen is it showing up in the main content area or on the side. Then the next parameter is the priority. So within that context, so within whichever position you put it in you know, where should the box be, high, core, default, or low. So we've got it in the side. Let's go and let's set it to low. And let's see what happens. All right, so you can see it moved down below the featured image. Um, we could try a couple of other ones. Let's try and find one that sounds like. Let's try high. I have a feeling it's just going to put it right back where it was. So let's see. Oh, actually, cool. So it actually put it clear up here to the top. That's pretty neat because uh, one of the things you'll notice when you're using this, uh, the main content area, is that when you have the editor set here, pretty much you can't nothing. You can't get anything to go above the editor. You know, naturally, you have to do a lot of crazy stuff, which I'm going to put into a different video. Um, generally, you can only move it from, you know, down here to here or just below the editor. So let's go and do that really quick. Um, so what we want to do is we want to change this context back to normal. So from side to normal. Save it. And refresh. And now, like I said, you'll see that it is at the very top of the main area now. And if we changed it to, um, what are the other ones? Let's change it to core. So as you can see, there's a lot of really neat stuff you can do with these optional ones. So the core just puts it at the bottom. All right, so we got our, we've got our custom meta box. Now what do we need to do? Well, if you remember when we created our custom post type, man, I don't remember this being this poorly formatted. I'll have to go fix that later. Um, when we set our post type, we set this thing called supports. And we told it we wanted a title, an editor, an author, custom fields, thumbnail, all that stuff. Well, in all actuality, we don't want any of that except the title. We just want the title. 
because everything that we're going to create is going to be custom fields. You know, a uh, we're going to have input fields, date pickers, um, text areas, all that kind of stuff. We don't need. Um, we are going to have an editor, but we're going to do something different later with something called WP Editor, and we want to be able to control where the editor is on the page. And like I told you before, we can't put a meta box above the editor with the default editor. Um, so we're going to have a workaround for that later. So for now, we're going to go ahead and remove all that stuff. And you'll see that all we have now is our title and then our custom meta box. And then we have our locations meta box. So we have pretty much the bare minimum. All right. Uh, so that's really all for this video. We created a custom meta box. It's going to hold all of our different fields. There's going to be a whole bunch of fields in here uh, once we're done. And that's going to be the next video. The next video, we're going to actually start creating custom fields. And that's going to be a very tough video um, because you have to, you know, you have to uh, validate, update, and save uh, all of your data into the database. So there's a lot of security and uh, issues that you have to cover when you're doing that. It's not just as simple as creating some input fields and you're on your way. It's, it's very, very uh, detailed. So that'll be an interesting video. It might be a multi-part video. It might be that we just create the fields in one and then we do the validating and sanitizing in another one. We'll see. Uh, but that, there you have it. There is how you create meta boxes. I appreciate you watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. I would love to help you out uh, with any kind of questions you have. Uh, and I'd always, as always, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.